not going to uh, break. If you look at that, if that were a piece of metal, there would be all kinds of indentations. If you look at what happens, is it, it returns. I'm glad that we looked at it afterwards because that's the real thing you're looking for is what's the damage after something like that. And I'm not going to say that's an IED blast, but that's a pretty hard hit, uh, a coating that serves multiple purposes. Um, IED blast resistant coatings generally serve one purpose. It's to stop a blast. You've got intumescent coatings that will stop a fire. You've got solar reflective coatings that will help energy efficiency by, by reflecting rays of the sun and keeping something cooler than it would be if you didn't have the coating. But what we're working towards, and what it, which we have received a defense appropriation for, is integrating all of these coatings together so that you have a multifunctional stealth coating. And that's only half of the challenge uh, for which we, we receive this funding. The other half of the challenge is, so what? You, you develop this material, you develop this coating, great. What is the real world application for it? Where does it help the military? And that's where the business that we've already developed comes into play. That's these shelters that are used for applying chemical agent resistant coatings. We have the ability now to marry those two technologies and actually bring some value and some, some life-saving measures to the military.